So this happened on the 12th where you had a TikToker chaotic philosopher where she made a TikTok about workers' rights not being prioritized in the country and that we're being entitled for suggesting it, it should be different. From the caption alone, you think something serious happened like her employee or employer taking away her rights or something along the lines of that. But it turns out the whole thing is that she got yelled at for something she called a reasonable question being are there accommodations for people with time blindness? So I just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just wanted to know are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time, you know. Look, this may be insensitive to people with time blindness, but do alarms work for all or not? Because I'm confused on that. I tried looking into time blindness and how it actually is. And apparently, this is how people with time blindness feel time. What two minutes feels for them is realistically two hours for us. Because they feel time like it's going slow when it's going the same pace for everyone. Since time is something immovable and time waits for no one. But they register it as it's going slowly. As it feels going slowly. I see people in the comments with time blindness say that they set multiple alarms being an hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes earlier than they're supposed to leave when they have something to do so that they arrive earlier rather than later. Some people said that they have alarms set in five minute intervals so that two minutes doesn't turn into two hours. And other people say that when they're late, they take accountability for their actions. You had so many people saying that they just leave early or do something earlier than they're supposed to because if they don't, they know that's going to be late and they take accountability for it. Also, how are employers supposed to accommodate for it? In the whole video, she doesn't say how to make accommodations for it. And she says that there are solutions for it or other solutions for it. But she doesn't name a single one. If she's asking for accommodations, she probably had some accommodations in her mind. But she didn't name any of them in her video. The only accommodation that I can think of as of this moment is that she wants her employer to call her 20 minutes before every shift so that she knows when to leave the house. But I feel like that wouldn't work because one person shouldn't be the whole reason that you came to work on time. And depending on, the, and depending on their work environment, that one person who has to send her a message or call may be busy with their own thing and they send the call a message later than the usual time. She shows up an hour later and that guy gets yelled at for it. Other than that, I really don't see how an employer can really accommodate for time blindness. And then she tries to guilt trip the employer saying that how do you feel that you use the same system as everyone else in the world uses. Look, they don't have to give you a job. If they have someone better, then they have someone better. And then the person I was with interrupted and acted like I was asking something else and then when we were done, they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist and if you struggle with being on time, you'll never be able to get a job. You know, provided you're trying your absolute best to be there. And then they're like, your stupid generation wants to destroy the workplace. And yeah, I think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time, when there's other solutions that we can look to, I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that, yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. And then I asked that person, how can you feel good about yourself upholding this kind of system? And then to think, I'm entitled. No, if people think it's okay to treat others like this, uh, that's entitlement. Look, really, in a corporate set environment, it really doesn't matter if you tried your best. If you're on time, it's good. If you're late by under 15 minutes, you should be fine. Anything over half an hour, you kind of have to be held to a standard. But with time blindness, I really don't know how it is since I don't have it. But maybe up to 35 minutes and they just make the time back afterwards. Also, really, it never hurts anyone to be early. Because at that point of being early, you're not wasting other people's times. Also, what happens when you get like a job, there are meetings, deadlines, and meeting clients? You wasted other people's times coming to work late, slowing down work, and possibly destroying links because of it. Because this is how I think of it. If I was a client from a large company who want to do work with their company, they send someone who showed up an hour late, and the person said it was due to their time blindness, I would, I would find it kind of disrespectful because they could have sent anyone else and then they would have showed up on time. 
and I was also wondering to myself, if they can't show up to time on this meeting, or meeting with a client, how are they able to work on time? Because even though it's not really their fault, other people have things to do since time is something you really can't get back. And then when her TikTok came out, no one was really on her side. Time blindness or not, people really said the same thing. Alarms, leaving earlier than it's supposed to. And how are you supposed to accommodate with even more people with time blindness saying how they just take accountability for being late? That's about it. If you like, then sub. If you sub, you might get another video.